Hey guys, welcome back. We have another, we have a scammer on the loose. We have some scamming going on. We have a first edition base Blastoise pack that you guys should be on the lookout for. It may or may not still be in the graded slab. It's a nine, so it's it definitely is a potential for being cracked out if somebody's trying to be sneaky and deaky about it. The only problem is we're pretty certain we know who was behind the entire thing. So Tidal Dreams here. Uh, who's in the Discord and has posted on E4. We have some information we're going to take a look at. Now, to the person who purchased this, J. Kim, if you would like to reach out with any additional information, any clarification, any attempt at making this right, by all means, reach out to me, reach out to Title Dreams, make it right, and uh, and this will all be better. Well, I mean, we're still going to cover it here, but it, it will make your situation a whole lot better. This is uh, definitely a dollar value that we're looking at uh, some law enforcement getting involved, maybe some legal action involved. This is uh, this is some serious stuff, and it seems like this individual. Um, it's I, I don't understand why you would uh, why you would do this with the employment history and and seemingly the reputation of the individual that uh, that purchased this thing. But um, here we here we go. Maybe maybe there's an explanation. But we're going to get into the details. By the way, guys, if you're not in the Discord yet, join the Discord. If you're not in the Discord for anything else other than the eBay block list, the suggested block list, you're going to want to do that so that you don't end up getting scammed by somebody that's already been scamming other people. I can't put everyone on the block list. Again, if they say that your mother has a big titties and they like to jiggle them, I... Yes, you shouldn't do that to other people on eBay, but no, I can't add them to the block list for that. There's only so much room on a block list, but so we gotta we gotta reserve it for the the serious offenders, and I think this is one of those. So, yes, he is added at this time to the block list on the old Discord. So join there, get in there. Uh, you can also promote your eBay listings for free. So if you're buying, if you're buying, if you're selling, if you want to buy from reputable people, if you want to sell your stuff and get some free promotion. Uh, you can just copy paste your listings into the appropriate channels, and uh, and voila, it gets posted for free in there in the Discord, in uh, on the Instagram, and on the Twitter. If you have something interesting, it's going to get a lot of extra views for uh, very little effort, uh, and also supports the channel through affiliate links, so it's much appreciated. Thank you, everyone that has been participating. All right. J. Jung Kim, eBay ID Zezamul, who lives in McLean, VA. Stole my Pokemon base first edition Shadowless of Booster Pack. Blastoise Art PSA 9 Mint. Certification number 261-12004. Using payment dispute fraud. So we've, we've been seeing some issues recently with the old payment dispute fraud. Some sketchiness going on with the PayPal goods and services and stuff like that. Try your absolute best. And I know the deals, sometimes the deals are, they're appealing. I mean, on this end, on the seller's end, yeah, you got to be careful. There's going to be people that are out there to get you. You got to do everything in your power to prevent those people from, from doing it to you. There's some amount of scamming that's going to happen. There's a certain amount of people that are going to claim that something didn't arrive, that it's not as described. You're going to have headaches regardless. There's a sh there's shady people out there. Uh, there's no avoiding it no matter what you're doing, where you're doing it. But you got to do your best to reduce, you got to mitigate that risk, mitigate that, the, the shitty people, uh, and together, uh, if we're blocking these people, if we're calling them out, uh, if it's all being reported to the authorities, hopefully we can make it a safer place. All right, next paragraph. On 12-24-2023, J. Kim purchased my 1999 Pokemon base first edition Shadowless a Booster Pack Blastoise Art. PSA 9 Mint for $3,311, including shipping, which was shipped on 12-28-2023 through UPS, USPS, my apologies, priority mail with signature tracking and delivered to his residence on 12-30-2023. J. Kim signed for the package. This is where, like, eBay has got to be saving your butt on this. Like, come on, eBay. Please. Smart up. J. Kim left positive feedback for this purchase, A+, plus, on 2-23-2024. So, like, if someone can sign for something under the correct name, they can leave the feedback. So they have, ac they have access to the delivery location. They signed for it. And they left feedback. They have access to the eBay account. You would, th you would think that you would be safe on that point. Like, 
eBay likes to say like, oh yeah, we're, we're, we want to protect, we want it to be a safe place. Well, there's counterfeits all over the place. They could easily get rid of those. You don't even need an expert to find and, and get rid of those. People flag them all the time. They don't necessarily get taken down right away, but it should be a very easy process. Them going on about how they're going to have like with the, uh, the super guarantee plus we're going to, we're going to double authenticate everything that comes through here. I mean, that probably would have, uh, would have at least saved the seller on this end of things, hopefully. And then eBay would have been on the hook because if they if they go to their financial institution and do a chargeback, then it's eBay. But eBay should be taking these people out. They should be they should be taking care of this end of things. Like if somebody's gonna screw you over, if they're gonna screw eBay eBay over, then eBay should be should that's that's where they should be focusing their energy, their attention is on these bad actors that are doing this stuff. Like if you're gonna let somebody with a hundred feedback account buy a thirty three hundred dollar item. As the platform, you need to protect your your seller. It's weird. I don't know. I don't know how I need to explain this to them, but they need to. Otherwise, you're going to have no one selling on there. If if the, too much of it happens, this is one of those things that like maybe title dreams doesn't stop, but this is something that could easily encourage someone to never sell on eBay ever again. This is one of those situations. On 2-23-2024, Jay Kim filed a fraudulent payment dispute through his payment institution with the reason the item doesn't match the description in your listing. Evidence was provided that the item was exactly as described as a response to this dispute, but on 3-22-2024, Jay Kim's payment institution sided with him without having to return the item. The original $3,311 plus $20 dispute fee was pulled from my eBay account. J. Kim now has a legal possession of my item. Police report in Fairfax County, VA, USPS mail fraud report, and FBI IC3 report have all been filed against J. Kim for payment dispute fraud. If you see this item for sale anywhere, please let me know. By the way, guys, if you have any experience with anyone that has done something similar, especially if, the, if he was using the same name, if he was using the same ID, anything of the sort, uh, chances are, like, if somebody's doing this, they're probably doing it to more than one person. They think they can get away with it. Do reach out to me. Reach out to Title Dreams. See if we can't get this uh, piled on uh, and uh, this issue solved. Because once they get into, I mean, if they're if they're doing if they're doing this with multiple items up in the like three thousand dollar range, it's not too long become before it becomes like a federal crime. I'm not sure, like, depending on which state you're in, uh, what's going on here. Um, it, it gets, it gets more serious with the dollar value that is increasing for sure. Uh, the, the total dollar value. Now we have the, the Blastoise here, the booster pack. Very cute, very cute turtle on a booster pack. Uh, we got a little creasy DC here. Man, I don't, with the, with the booster packs, like some, you could probably send this in again and it would probably get a 10. But I, I don't know. Sometimes they, I don't know if they count the creases. Like if there's no actual wear on the pack, it seems like it's just a coin flip of whether it gets an eight, nine, or ten. Uh, even if it does have wear, sometimes it seems like that. So we got the uh, USPS little little shipperini. Very cool. Um, so confirmation that it did arrive. We got the signature. Very cool. Uh, interesting, interesting little signature there. Uh, and we have the, we have the feedback, the feedback here, A+. plus. So if you're going to scam someone, probably don't leave the feedback. A+, plus, not as described. Very, very cool. We got all kinds of shipping information. Little proof, little little receipts going on here, and we have the dispute outcome, which is unacceptable. Unacceptable eBay. This is disgusting. Hopefully, someone from eBay is watching this. Hopefully, they fix this uh, for the for the seller on this end. Um, I mean, when you can show everything, including the fact that they received it, they signed for it, they left feedback, and eBay doesn't protect you. Like that is that is the most unacceptable thing I've ever seen. I'll make sure I'm going to, I'll send Title Dreams uh, my my contact phone number for eBay and hopefully they can argue with them and get them to do something about it because it, it should be eBay. You, eBay let this person 
buy this item for $3,300, they should look after it. It's as simple as that. So yes, definitely block block these wiener babies to the extreme. We got the eBay account here. Again, very stripped down, very 100 feedback eBay account. We have just the title dreams, uh, basically just as a seller, leaving feedback before anything going on. Or maybe even he he could have waited till uh, the buyer left feedback. eBay account since August 7th, 2002. It's pretty hard to have 100 feedback uh, in that amount of time. But I, I guess it's possible if you're casually buying on there. Now we have uh, J. Kim, the man in question, the suspect of uh, the, uh, the uh, Steelerino that's been going on here. Now... We have uh, someone that is, is we got some a decent, decent little work history here uh, and not someone you would think would be stealing from people. But again, sometimes people with money, sometimes people just they think they can get away with it. Voila, they start stealing things. Sometimes they're klepto. Sometimes they have black and white profile pictures. If you know this man, can you please tell him we would like to, the Blastoise a booster pack back? In the graded case, please, and thank you, JKM, please, send it back, or send the money. Now, we have the XSnap X Google startup exec with three exits. Oh my goodness, he's he's got some experience on him. And you would think that uh, maybe you don't want to be doing sketchy shit like stealing from people on the internet, uh, getting the old criminal record, uh, if you're... Uh, if you're looking to be in any sort of position like this in the future. So, again, it, again, it doesn't necessarily make sense. We've seen some of the richest people, people with tons of money, who still just decide, like, it's not enough for them. They need to, they need to scam some people. They need to rip some people off. This might be one of those situations. See if we can't follow up to it. J. Kim, do the right thing. Don't be a pussy. Join the Discord, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, be careful out there. Even even if you do stuff in the safest of safe ways, uh, hopefully this gets re resolved uh, for the seller. Unacceptable if, if it doesn't. This is uh, this is on eBay. This is on a shitty person that did a shitty thing. Uh, took looking looking to take advantage of somebody, steal three thousand dollars. Unacceptable, disgusting, human being. Fuck them all. All right, join the Discord. See you next time. Bye follow up if there's more information.